Hey, what's going on guys? How y'all doing? So in today's video, here's what I want to do. I want to go over team building in Genshin Impact because I've been seeing that a lot of people are kind of confused on how they should go about building a team. And really, it's not that hard when you think about it, but because it is a new game, all the strategies haven't really been figured out yet. There's a lot of flexibility in this game. Um, you know, it might be nice just to have a couple example teams and a few ways to upgrade those teams as you play through the game as examples so that then you guys can go and build teams on your own and experiment and just have some fun so that's what we're going to do today before we get into the video guys just a quick reminder if you haven't already and you want to see some more content from me head over to twitch.tv slash xjazz207 i am playing genshin impact over there monday wednesday friday around 8 p.m est and if you haven't already subscribe to this channel that way you always know when i put out a new video and it helps me know you guys are digging the content so without further ado let's head over uh, to Chrome today. Now, uh, we're over here on Genshin.cc where we can build teams and you can see all your elements of the team, the resonances of your team and the possible reactions. This is very helpful if you're not super familiar with the systems of Genshin Impact so you can see what benefits you're getting from your team. So to start out, what we're going to do, I'm going to start out with the team that you're probably going to have at the very start of the game. This is probably before Adventure Rank 20. This is going to be basically all the characters you're going to be getting in game. So to start out, uh, everyone is going to have access to the Traveler and the Traveler is Inamo, which is Wind. Uh, the next character you're going to get is Amber. Amber you get super early on in the story. While she's not the greatest character, that's who we have access to. Next up, uh, one of the characters that we're going to be getting for free is Lisa. Lisa is really good in terms of AoE damage. She's a lightning user, so now we have three different elements on our team. Lastly, we're using Noel. Now, while Noel is not strictly speaking free to play, you're going to get the wishes uh, in game and the primo gems to buy her on the beginner banner. Uh, she is very good. She's a Geo user, which you know, frankly, there's not a lot of reactions you can do with Geo, um, but she is going to kind of be our healer for our beginning party. Now, so this is where we start. Uh, we have a lot of different reactions here in terms of resonance. It's not the greatest. All elemental res uh, resistance, sorry, is up by 15%. And you know what? We have some upgrades we can do this. So the first things that I'm going to be looking to do when upgrading this party is looking at our possible reactions and how we can improve them as well as our resonance. Because our resonance, we have four unique elements. So really, I want to find an element that we can double up on in order to get a really nice bonus. So looking at our reactions, really the only one that's not doing much is Geo. Geo in this game really so far is just defensive and if I'm being honest with you, you don't really need a lot of defense in the early game. So we're going to be looking at dropping Noel. And one of the things that is really helpful when building a team is selecting your main DPS unit. This is the unit that's going to be really carrying you in terms of DPS. It's either your favorite unit that you want to build around. It's your strongest unit, whatever it may be. Uh, this is the unit that's going to be dealing the majority of your damage. Now, it's also of note that whatever this unit is, you should have another one of that type on your team. This is because in terms of resonances, when you have two of the same element, you'll get a bonus. And normally <laughs> the uh, elemental resonance that that character or that element has will benefit those characters. So what we're going to do is we're dropping Noel and we're picking up a new main DPS instead of the Traveler. So the character that I'm looking to pick up as our main DPS to upgrade this team is going to be Jingling. Now, Jingling, you can get once you hit Adventure Rank 20. She's available as um, a free unit once you clear Abyss Spiral 3-3, which most of you guys should have no trouble clearing once you get to Adventure Rank 20. Your team should be able to clear that no problem. Uh, she is a fire user, which now, if we check out our, res our resonances, we have an increase in attack by 25%, which is huge. That's just free damage right off the top. Just nothing to do. So this party here is already a ton better than what we had before. In terms of damage output, uh, Jingling's really good. Amber, 
Amber's not the greatest fire user, but currently there's only three. And in order to get the other one, you got to spend a lot of money or be very, very lucky. Now, what else could we do to this team? Well, if you really want a healer, you could take out Lisa and you could put in, uh, you could put Noel back in if you really wanted a healer. Or if you really like Lisa, you could take out the Traveler and put in Noel because Overload is a really good uh, reaction. Now, the Traveler is really good in terms of solving a lot of puzzles. So Fire and Wind really are like very good in terms of solving puzzles. So you may want to keep the Traveler instead of Lisa. Uh, the other thing we can do to upgrade is if you're lucky, you can take out the Traveler and put it in Venti if you get Venti. Venti is very good in terms of crowd control, all right? His elemental burst creates a giant vortex that sucks everyone up for a while, and you can just unleash damage on him. It's really good for DPS, but he is a five-star character, so you do have to roll for him. But if you are lucky enough to get him, it's a really good upgrade to the Traveler. Uh, last up, in terms of upgrades, this one is... Might be kind of obvious for some of you, but we're saying goodbye to Amber, and we are changing this to Deluke. Deluke is insane. Now, when we take Deluke, Deluke now becomes our main DPS. Jingling becomes our backup DPS because Deluke's DPS is insane. And on this team, I think I also want to take Noelle. Bring her back to Lisa so that way we can get as much damage as possible with the swirl from Venti from the Overload with Deluke and Lisa and Jingling. We have a ton of of damage output and this team is real good uh but again now you're looking at two five star units that you have to roll for it's not so much free to play anymore but that's what you can do in terms of upgrading this team next up i want to take a look at a, a more mid-tier team uh these units uh all but one you do have to roll for one of which is in the shop currently which is nice if you've been rolling so you can get them pretty easily and that is our main dps and that is razor so Razor is the unit that I've been using as my main DPS. And in case you're wondering, yes, this is my in-game team. <laughs> um, so Razor's the unit I've been using. He was kind of the first unit that I had when I first started rolling that really spoke to me as a, uh, a DPS unit. His, uh, his elemental burst is crazy. He summons an electric wolf behind him that does extra electro damage. And he has so much damage potential. His, his uh, first ability, it's like Light and Claw or something. Basically, when you use it, it makes a little skill orb next to you, and you increase the amount of energy recharge you get, so you can just spam your burst pretty much. His damage output is really good. The only reason I'm not crazy about him is because his attacks are kind of slow, but honestly, they hit hard, and if you can get his burst going, his damage output is really good. So, because of that, we want to be gaining as much uh, energy as possible. He's all about the energy recharge. So we want another electro unit. So we're going to be grabbing Fischl. Uh, Fischl. So now we have two electric units. So if we look at the resonance, this number is actually wrong, but superconduct overload and electric charge have a 50% drop chance to drop an electric elemental particle. Wow, I can't talk. I've been talking all day. <laughs> Sorry, I've been cranking out a ton of videos today. So the reason why Fischl is so good as a support DPS is because once she gets her Raven out, Oz, uh, he's going to be consistently uh, afflicting Electro to enemies, even if Fischl is off the field. So if you have other units that are attacking and they have Electro on them, you're going to be generating Electro Particles, which in turn is going to decrease the cooldown of Razor's ability, allowing him to use his bursts much more effectively and timely. Plus, she's just really good in general. Her damage is absolutely insane. I was a non-believer at first, and then as I started to upgrade her, I became a believer, and she is like almost main DPS at this point. She is really strong. So, who do we want next? Well, the unit that I ended up using was Kaya. Now, Kaya isn't the best character. Um, from a lot of the tier lists I've seen, he's, you know, a B to C character. Um, I like him though. His cooldown on his elemental skill is very low, which means that he can inflict uh, cryo pretty consistently. His burst is actually really powerful and uh, persists even when he's off the field. Um, I don't, he's just been a really solid unit for me. And in using him, now we get Superconduct. And this is going to be reducing the target's defense, 
doing more damage and he's also going to have a little bit of crowd control in there as well he can help freeze our enemies and how do we freeze them well that's our next unit is zing Cho. uh zing Cho, again not the best character but he's pretty good and i've really been liking him uh he doesn't apply the wet very consistently but when he does he puts out a lot of damage and his burst also does quite a bit of damage um but now that we have water ice and electric we can uh electro charge we can superconduct we can freeze we have a lot of cc we have a lot of damage and this has been treating me really well i've been really really happy with this setup so if i wanted to how could i upgrade this team to make it even better than it already is well if we want to keep our damage our dps the same we're obviously going to be taking out kaya and jingcho we're going to be switching them up kiki and mona uh mona is like the queen of crowd control okay she has a taunt that is going to consistently add a hydro element a wet element to its enemies it's also going to group them up so now razor can come in and just whack them all with his claymore or with his elemental skill uh chi chi is going to be way more effective at healing than jing cho is while also getting us that cryo element that we're losing from losing kaya while this composition is better than what i currently have i don't have kiki i do have mona don't have kiki uh so i don't have access to this comp just yet and you know i could use kaya but then i'm losing the healing support so you know it kind of falls apart once you don't have kiki now what else could i do i could also go with a uh jing ling and i can go with an amber now the reason i'm not going with deluke there is a reason i'm picking amber over deluke i could go with deluke if i just wanted straight up as much damage as possible yes deluke is better than amber the reason i'm using amber is because she has her bunny taunt now when you use her taunt groups everyone up razor can come in and just whack them all uh so that is the reason we're using amber if we wanted to maximize damage of course we could use the luke of course we could use the luke damage would be so much better but this team right here really has no form of crowd control so there's that that's the reason i would say uh amber in that style and here's the last comp that we could do now this comp is a lot different than we currently have but let's say instead of razor as our main dps we want to use Fischl as our main DPS, okay? So we're going to take out the Razor. Uh, we're going to be taking out, uh, in fact, everybody. We're going to be completely changing this. So uh, if we want to use Fischl, here's my idea. Let's get her, because her attacks are already super powerful, and she's also very fast with her attacks. So let's try and get her crit up as high as we can. So we can get a free crit buff if we use two ice users so as our first uh supporting character we have kiki which we've already established is really good at spreading the cryo she's also going to be our best healer that is a cryo user next up we're going to be using chong yun chong yun also very good at spreading the cryo which is good for getting uh the uh superconduct uh, but now we have two cryo users which is very important if we look here at resonances it increases the crit chance against enemies that are frozen or affected by cryo by 15%. If we want to add that extra element of freezing, because, you know, Fischl is kind of a squishy character, we could use someone like a Mona. <laughs> Mona is incredibly good when it comes to CC. She's also incredibly good when it comes to getting enemies wet. Huh. So with this setup, our crit is insanely high. We're doing a ton of damage with Fischl. Uh, this is more just kind of like a fun comp. What else could we do? I mean, we could switch up Mona with, uh, I mean, since we're going high crit, let's go with Deluke. <laughs> like, Deluke is pretty much always there if you're going with high crit um, or any high damage at all. Deluke is just nuts. We could also go with like a Jingling. You know, this is kind of, so basically what I'm trying to get at is this is how you play with team comps. This is how you go about building a team. Really what you want to do, start with your main DPS, and then build from there figure out how you want to build them like in this case we didn't necessarily need to have an electro resonance but we knew that we wanted to go with high crit so we wanted two ice users that's really what you want to do figure out what your main dps is going to be and then figure out what resonance you want and then from there you can fill in the rest but that's really all i got for today i hope you guys did enjoy the guide let me know down in the comment section below 
who are you guys using as a team? I'm curious to see what comps are running around there, seeing if anyone is actually using Deluke or, you know, are people using more like free to play units? Let me know down in the comment section below. That's all I got for today, guys. If you want some more content from me, go ahead, follow us over on that Twitch page, twitch.tv slash xjazz207, or leave us a subscription right here on YouTube. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you learned something. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.